When designing workflows for K2, the start step may give you three options to choose from when starting the workflow from a form. Do it for me means K2 just handles the start workflow rule placement in your selected form automatically. Help me configure it is still a step through wizard, but K2 relinquishes a bit more customization to you and you won't have to manually edit the form. I will do it myself later means you can designate the start form for now and then come back to finish the configuration later on however you choose. Let's look at what happens when you pick the option to help me configure it. This workflow is not configured to start instances yet and we want to use a smart form to start it when a button is clicked. Within the properties of the start step for your workflow, you can select to start the workflow with a form, so drill down into the category list to locate the desired form, which I'll do here. Now, when your users fill out a form and start a workflow from that form, more times than not, the workflow you design will need access to the data filled out on that form so that decisions can be made according to things like dollar amounts or perhaps dates. The smart object data sources used inside this form appear here in the references area for the purpose of creating references within your workflow to this data. By creating a reference, K2 can access values from the form and use it within steps you add to the workflow. You can enable or disable each data source based on if you need access to that data in the workflow. K2 will create the reference for each data source you enable here. I'll just leave these all set to enabled and we can move on. In this example, we need a little more control over where the workflow should start in the form. So let's select the option called Help Me Configure It and move to the next panel. Form states allow us to change the behavior of a form to make it do different things based on the state we tell it to be in at a certain point in time. We may want this form to look differently when a user is initially filling it out to start a workflow, as opposed to when a user is looking at the form to complete an approval task assignment from the workflow. We might want to set all the fields to read only for an approval task state. I'll leave the setting to create new state as it is because we really don't have any existing states in this form yet. I'll also leave the default state name as new hire workflow. Moving on to the next window, for starting the workflow, K2 will give us the ability to position the start workflow rule action within any events that exist in the form at this point in time. I have a specific control called save button in this form, so let's choose the button click event tied to that control. Notice in the actions box down lower that the start workflow action is added to the bottom of the order. In this case, I want the workflow to start before I present a message to the user. So I can select this action and move it up one row. By doing this, the show message action will fire right after the workflow starts to indicate to the user that the workflow did begin. From here, we can move on to the summary window. This window will show you all the changes that K2 is going to make to your form. In this example, that is the start workflow rule and the addition of a new state. I can go ahead and close this and go back to the design canvas of the workflow. Remember, we selected to create references to the data from the form. So upon expanding the context browser up here on the right, notice the references that are now available here for all steps in the workflow. I can use things like the employee's name and birth date in a send email step, or I could even branch the workflow based on salary amount or maybe department name. From here, you can build out the rest of the workflow or save it and come back. Once it has been deployed, it can be started by the form selected in the start step. Before we close out, let's take a look at that form. Notice the workflow has added a new state called new hire workflow. When that is selected, also notice that the start workflow rule action was added to the click event of the save button.